Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Show It Better and in this occasion we are going to learn how to make an animation like the one you guys saw at the beginning using SketchUp and Enscape 3D. So we have, if you haven't downloaded these programs, the link is in the description. So let's start. So you guys see here that I have my 3D model, I have 3D trees and what we want to do is just look for scenes where we want to make a slow, slow pan shots, zoom shots that are just very, very smooth. So we're going to look for the perfect scene and I'm going to just show you guys how you can export the animation using Enscape 3D. So what we're going to do is open Enscape 3D and, and first we want to adjust, adjust a little bit more of the sunlight. So we want the, the, the shadows to be much stronger. So what you go, what you do is go to go to the settings tab, and where it says atmosphere sun, you just increase it a lot more, so the shadows will be much much darker and you have much more contrast. Also, in the atmosphere tab you can increase a little bit, so increase it a little bit, so we can have a little bit of fog and it has much more depth to the image, right? So there are different ways you guys can, can create this animation using Enscape 3D. You can save your scenes like you would save a scene in SketchUp. And when you're ready to export it, you go to Enscape and select each one of these scenes. Here you guys can see I have various scenes recorded already. And you guys can also see that Enscape has updated its program and now it supports grass. So that is a really, really cool feature because it has really nice grass that is just like a freshly cut grass. So yeah, you guys might, might want to check it out. Also, um, here you guys can see the different scenes I have recorded. So we're going to do a small transition with the scene. Uh, what we're going to do is just move the camera that is going to be focusing on the trees then move it to the house but we're going to increase the depth of field a lot so you guys can go to the general tab increase the amount of the depth of field and uncheck the box where it says autofocus and define your focal point so first we're going to define our focal point where it is where the trees are so we can have a little a much more contrast once you have this defined and it, and it is really the focus focus point you want um, what you're going to do is hit the green arrow in the Enscape tab, right? So this green arrow means that this is the first scene that you want. You know, this is the first point where I want Enscape to recognize the start of my animation. And then after you, you press, you click on that, on that arrow, Enscape is going to recognize it. Now what we're going to do is change the focal point for, so it can be the house all the way in the back and also change the camera position so it can just move a little bit to the right so it's just going to be more of a defocus and a pan shot right so once you have this scene the end of the scene defined you're going to click on the red arrow so for, remember first click on the green arrow to tell Enscape where the scene starts and then click on the red arrow to tell Enscape where the scene ends then Beside that red arrow, you guys can see an eyeball. You guys can preview the scene. And if you like it, if you think that's the one, then you're just going to export it. Remember, you can also define how many frames per second you want it. We're going to export it at 60 frames per second because we want a very smooth shot that we're going to extend a little bit more in Premiere Pro. Also, you can define the resolution if it's 4K, 1920, 1080p, it's your decision and the duration of your video. So we're going to set it for three seconds at 60 frames per second with a 10 with a, with a 1080p resolution. So this means that when we import it to Premiere Pro, we can, we can extend those three seconds to six seconds, right? So this is the result of that animation, right? After you click export, that is what I had. And that's a really good animation. It's just short, but we're going to modify it later in Premiere Pro. So after you have this animation, we want to look for many other scenes, you know, small scenes that can complement this image. And as I was telling you guys earlier, other ways of doing it is saving your scenes in SketchUp. And when you're ready to export them, you just um, click on those scenes and that's it. 
as you guys see here I'm going to do a small scene that where the camera looks from the grass to the house and each one of those cameras is saved as a scene and as I was telling you guys before as well uh, since Enscape now has 3d grass and now it supports 3d grass what we're going to do is a scene where the camera is focused on the grass the amount of depth of fields is a lot and for the second scene it is going to be focused on the house and we're going to change it it is the same method that we used in the scene before but it's just with a different scene and it's not going to pan to the right anymore but it's going to look up right so this is really cool because it's very simple to do a great animation with endscape and i really like it so remember to hit the green button for the first scene and the red button for the last scene so i'm going to export various scenes like this you guys can um, keep on watching it here and the idea is you know the trick in doing this very well is having good composition having good lighting that your model is very well detailed and has very interesting things to look at that's how it's going to look nice right so here you guys are going to see this scene the different scenes i exported and finally what you want to do is import the, these scenes into premiere pro right so it would be really nice if you had premiere pro because it just you know makes you have all these scenes together and maybe add a little bit of color correction to them or add text on top of them so we're going to import each of these footages and what we're going to do is right click on one of these footages right so you, you as you guys can see i just right click on one of these footages and select the the option where it says speed and duration where it says 100 percent i'm going to put it to 50 percent so now the scene that lasted three seconds when i exported from sketchup um, it's going to last 60 seconds right so you guys can obviously do this until it lasts a whole minute but you don't want it to look very choppy and don't want it to look bad so that's why we exported it in 60 frames per second so when we slowed it down it would just play in 30 frames per second right and we're going to do this with all the footages that you exported from enscape so here you guys are going to see different footages i exported and the ones i used to make the video and it's and it's basically just the same thing you you just want to make sure all the scenes have the same rhythm and the same pace you don't want one to be very fast and the other one very slow or you just don't want them to look uh very different from one another, another right so you want you want them to look very nice and another thing that is going to help tie this up very well is if you have background music it's going to be very nice so i don't know birds humming or the present your presentation voice or something and the text right so you can press Control t on your keyboard and you can uh, add a title like the ones i used in the video so uh, you can define the size of the title just like photoshop you know the size uh, the typography etc 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 and that is basically it you know it, it it really endscape really helps you do this very well and well i think there are various ways of doing it endscape just presents us one a very practical easy way with very good results and yeah that's it i hope you guys like this video if you like it subscribe uh hit the like button share it if you want you know it just really helps us all so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video yep